control. <laughs> Although I'm sure everybody here had a great bit of fun, luckily, I'm actually here for an episode that, quite frankly, I wouldn't have missed for the world. And folks, let me get our cast list rounded out for you so you know exactly who we're dealing with for this episode before we jump right into it. First off, I am the one and only Sonic the Hedgehog. As I said, speeding at you faster than the speed of sound and looking oh so sweet doing it. We got the Super Mario Brothers reunited for the first time in a long time. We got Mario, Jumpman Mario, first and foremost. Mario, how you doing? Hey, Sonic, how you doing, man? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Yo, hey, Mario, I got a question for you. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I already know what you're going to do. You're, you're going to talk about Comic-Con, right? Well, dude, we were both there. <laughs> That's true. We actually were. We actually had a pretty good time. Me and Sonic enjoyed New York Comic Con immensely. Oh, you were both there as well? Wait, wait, Nega, you were there too? You seriously? Oh, wow. You really must have been out of your mind with all the excitement. I tried to kill you five times while we were there! <laughs> well, I was kind of wondering why there was like a small gnat buzzing around our heads for, like <laughs> the better part of the first like day and a half. Oh, yikes. I mean, I, 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 that, that could have been him, or... I, I don't know. That or the net that well, we're playing in the studio. Yeah, all right, whatever, guys. Whatever. While, while we're trying to figure out what exactly he was doing, um, well, we've already... We've now had Eggman Nega introduced. So, but before we move on to the rest of the crew here, let me bring in Mario's brother, the ever-inimitable... Luigi Mario of the Super Mario Brothers. Luigi, how you doing, man? Pretty good. I'm I'm sad I couldn't go to come on Comic Con anyway. So two pets. Yeah, well to be fair though, Luigi, I mean you did have that big whole thing going on with Daisy, so I mean you you did have yeah, a lot I couldn't of miss that, unfortunately. And you I saw the... to work all around it, but I couldn't. Yeah, well either way. So I mean it was Comic Con. You know, I had a good time, Mario had a good time. I guess Nega was doing whatever the hell he was doing. Um but yeah, no, we've also got another guy here popping in. Now, we've had a few characters pop in from a few other games. This is one I haven't seen too often. Falco Lombard from the Star Fox franchise. Falco, welcome to the show. It's Fal it's Lombardi, first of all. It's Falco Lombardi. <laughs> Wait, is it? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, I see what happened. There was a smudge on the eye on the on the freaking whiteboard. God damn it! Somebody slapped the director. <laughs> uh, I'll do that for you. I think we could just get one of our weirdo, one let of the weirdos do to do let it. Let me do it. Yeah. <laughs> um. So we've also got making a rare appearance here, Lupe the Wolf. Lupe, welcome back to the show. Hey, it's good to be here. It's good to have you here. It's been a while. We hope you're going to enjoy the show with us. Yeah, I definitely will. I should certainly hope so. We've also got uh, Mephiles the Dark, who's finally in another game for the first time since 06. Yes, it has been all these years since I have been destroyed by three hedgehogs. I was one of them. Yeah, I, 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 like you gotta, like you gotta ask at this point, folks. Yes, Shadow is here. How you doing, Faker? Eh, I'm doing fine. Just had to fix my microphone settings. Maybe it sounded like I sounded like I was a uh, sound wave from Transformers or something. Well, no. So here's the thing. First, you sounded like sound wave. Yeah. Then after that, you sounded like you were being run through a modulator, and then the modulator was basically deep throating the microphone. Mario, you just what my the joke? hell? Damn. <laughs> Ah, I know, I know my microphone settings are that bad, but they, they, they want they want that shitty. Wow. Yeah, you're right. Wow. Okay, so Mario just went darker than I think we were used to hearing from him, but okay. Um, maybe my joke. Maybe maybe he just, maybe he's just saw that his new video game kind of failed on in the ratings that that brothership thing that came out. Maybe he thought about that. Maybe not coming like another day. Shadow, 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 shadow. Yes. You talk about failing video games. Let me remind everybody, you tried to be a wannabe Ghost Rider mixed with the Punisher, and literally nobody in their right mind loved the control system for that game. And to this day, you're still being mocked for it. Well, the fact that they had 18 different endings. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so do, so do a lot of other video games, but nobody else gets that kind of a friggin', you know, shot to the face, huh? Yeah, Let yeah. alone the editing that had to be redone because you didn't want... It went from being from, like, a deeper teen to freaking eat <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, rounding out, we got a couple of guys left here. First off, we've got the movie Eggman. Hello, everybody. And but Sonic, before you say anything, I know the yoke is always on me. I literally didn't say anything yet, but I didn't really know that you were, had a history of pulling around wagons, Eggman. Thank you. Oh, my God. <laughs> he got what, you gonna, good what are you going to say? What do you got? Yeah, to be fair, I... You're going to hear a wagon fair, I, I, No, a yoke, <laughs> a yoke is literally the, the name for the uh, means to hitch a horse to a wagon. It's another, um, it's another pun on yoke, so... Can we not horse around and maybe start introducing what this video is about, please? Oh, hey, hey, How about we yeah. get to the end being... Hey, 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 before we, before we, guys, before we get to it, Sonic still has two other people to introduce. As a matter of fact, he's right, I do. First off, one of them was Infinite, who we just heard a minute ago, taking a shot at our uh, scrambled movie yeah. star. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> More and like he was the more sunny side up. I'd, I'd say he was running a little over easy. Anyway, uh, rounding <laughs> out. Keep up the rounding eight out. Yeah, well, somebody's got to crack the shell on this. Anyway, rounding out the <laughs> rounding out the party here. We got Diddy Kong pumping in from Donkey Kong Country. Oh, also, what party? We're not oh. playing Mario Party, dude. We are literally up. Let's see. There's. Hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Counting you, we're basically an we're basically an overachieving D and D party here. Or anyway. did you, you typical JRPG <laughs> roster? Uh, and that too. That too. Anyway, 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 folks, um, we are here to do a reaction to season two, episode ten of Hell of a Boss. We are getting ready. Now, we missed this for Halloween, sadly, because it didn't come out till Halloween. Mm -hmm. And by the time this comes out, it'll probably have been a couple of weeks. Obviously, by the way, uh, by the, at the time we're recording this, as I've been led to understand by the weirdos, um, the day after we're recording this will be election day. So we hope that for those of you who are dealing with the elections in the United States of America, mm -hmm. we'll have had a relatively stress-free election day. And uh, for those of you who didn't get the candidates you wanted, better luck next time. Anyway, folks, this is Mario, did season... you the vote? Well, I mean, technically I'm an alien. I said Mario. He said Mario. Oh, I, I, I didn't hear you You bringing it up there, Luigi. I mean, like, we're, we're kind of like in two different spots here, right? But yeah, no, actually, wait, wait what do you mean did I register to vote? I've been <laughs> registered since I was 18, Luigi. So were you, you went the same thing I did, what the hell? <laughs> Mario, you realize? I'm just double checking because I don't want to have a fiasco at the election booth. Fiasco at the election Lu booth? What? Luigi, you don't Luigi. Want to. Luigi, you and I have been registered to vote since we were 18. All right, we've been doing it. We've been voting since before I even started in the first Donkey Kong game. Okay, so yeah, I'm still registered to vote. Although, quite frankly, I'm still kind of upset that uh, Toad didn't succeed in his bid to get on a third-party ballot ticket. Yeah, oh, man. shit, he failed to get on the third party ballot? I thought he seemed like he was going to get in. Well, see, here's this, there's, there's like a couple of problems. One, like, he's old enough to actually be on the ballot, but the problem is because he's from the Mushroom Kingdom, he doesn't qualify as being native-born to the United States, so... I mean, you can get to the Mushroom Kingdom way through a website in New York. I feel like that should count for something. Yeah, you think, but, I mean, the whole interdimensional, different world thing, I mean, you, you know how things are. I'm poking you. I'm poking the jackal boy. Poke. Why are you poking jackal? Wait, wait, why? wait, 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 wait. He's poking a villain from Spider Man? Uh, <laughs> he's poking he's me. Christ. And he's really starting to annoy me. Infinite. Stop. Hey, hey, okay, okay. Oh, all, right, all right, guys, oh, yeah. guys, 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 guys. First off, I do, I do appreciate the joke, Mario, but most people didn't really realize what was going on there. Also, Diddy, please stop poking Infinite. Seriously, if, if, if you want to deal with your unresolved sexual tension with him, please do it later. Oh, for God's sake. Excuse me? 
In front of Falco, of all things. Come on. He doesn't need to know. Anyway, folks, <laughs> we are getting ready. Like we said, this is a reaction to season two, episode 10 of Hell of a Boss. Ghost fuckers. No. And yes, 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 we are calling it ghost what? fuckers. We are not going to wuss out on the name because god damn it, the episode says the name of the episode in the episode. We are going to do the same. You um dude, didn't you almost exactly. in, in that weird Sonic Unleashed short when you and that little guy went to the haunted house? You mean shit? Oh what does that have to do with he, this? Yeah. What does no, it have to that, that, that female ghost almost made Sonic a ghost fucker. Oh my god. Oh! Does he Wait, what? Uh, you're talking about Project no. Ocean. No, go, you no. know. Okay, we did not talk about that game on here. Not at all. What That's game? It. This wasn't a game. This was a short, dude. Anyway. No, no. So, it's under a Project yeah. X. That that game is really bad. It's just, you know, about that ghost in the you mean short. Super Bros mod? Hey, dude, a lot of quite a few people like Sonic. Oh, yeah, let's, let's, let's move on before I, before, I, so before, before I forget. Hang on, guys, guys. Before I forget, Luigi, just remember, this is on the web. It's not happening right in front of us. You don't have to run and hide. And please put the vacuum down. I don't have the vacuum out. It's a it's um, an, it's called a poltergeist. There's a there's a difference. Shadow, it's a man, fucking I vacuum. Even, I didn't even bring it with me. Uh, Luigi, if you didn't bring it with you, what is that under the chair that I'm I'm looking right at it? I swear <laughs> to God, I did not bring it. I swear, I do not know how it got there. And please don't okay. and please don't go through the floor again too. If you can look down there. Oh shit! I have a dead wish today. <laughs> to be honest, this is what you get from missing the Halloween special. So it's on you. Let's start the video. Uh, not my fucking fault. Oh, you know that. You know what that reminds me of, though, guys. We do have to at some point react to the shorts. We're working on it. The director is getting his people on it. We will get to it soon. What the next weirdo stream, by the way? I'm waiting for. Yeah, we're still waiting on that actually, and. Yeah, uh, bullshit. Uh, Luna, you okay? Uh, yeah. Have you been she hasn't slept for a while. Let's spot two hundred times. No, she's you're not. Actually, you're actually right. Go home there are quite a few. There are quite a few oh, in, no. in the Mario universe, dude, who simp for the one called Luna. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, she she just just did she literally just eat actual pops? Yes. Sonic? Yeah, what? You realize she's eating a pureed cell phone, right? Wait, what? Did you watch the pilot? Oh, oh god, yeah, it's been a while. I completely forgot about that. So, apparently Moxie sucks at math. No, I think he's, this is a Call of Duty reference. No, I think it's a reference to, um... Well, did, did you, um... Did you, 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 you guys were here for Apology Tour, right? I was, I was, I did watch it. Okay, do you remember the massive backlog paperwork that Blitz just kind of dumped on Moxie? I, 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 I think most of this paperwork might be from that. Guys, a uh, question. Peanut butter? Okay, I am. Go ahead, Mario. Go ahead, Mario. Oh wait, 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 wait. Room. Oh, there is definitely a fabulous beard here. Yeah, get that. Who does that say? Who does that remind you of? Go away! Uh oh. Read the chains. Blitz, what are you doing? Oh, you missed one. Earth trash forever. But yeah, that was actually. A, that was actually. I. I, I did see this on Halloween when it aired. Actually, me and Mario decided we were gonna hang out that day. Um, so we got that done before I went off for a date with Sal for Halloween. 
But, um... My mama always said the best I would have watched it on Halloween, but I had to stay up and watch the Halloween special we did that day. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah, that was Charlie. That... Oh, Charlie, huh? Get dicked down by a disembodied spirit and eat my feelings till I die from a heart attack or diabetes. I don't know. It doesn't Yeah, it's like the stream just freezes it. It's like, that's bizarre. It honestly has been doing this for quite a bit. Yeah, and I think it's the browser that the director is using. It's like, dude. Oh. The freaking. Wait, wait. We have a client. Or. Honestly, Firefox is. I'll be right there. Firefox is good too. Something's wrong. Something's wrong with the stream. You guys can't see the stream. Something's wrong with this stream. Honestly, honestly, something is wrong with everything. You guys. Well, I mean, listen. They're back. They're, it's back now, but it was frozen for a minute. Oh, no. oh. Sorry about that, guys. This is getting from the top. I went for my usual tarot reading. Oh, that's the cool looking demon. Oh, no. Fast forward to who Ooh. killed you. Oh. Reminds me a little bit too much okay. of Lady Deathstrike yes, if she was a complete I nerd. I was killed. He <laughs> <laughs> no. couldn't agree more. Um. But yeah, Luna could use a good night's sleep. I don't know how to tell you this, but. Or at the very least, a very thorough brushing. How about a coffee? Or a bear. I didn't know. She just I, I didn't. I didn't know Luna would like being brushed. I don't know. She's saying ghosts aren't real, lady. I mean, I brush her hair every day. No, you don't. Please calm down. Someone killed me. She comes to me when I have. When she needs to. I think the director. Also, I think the, right, I think the director left his Luna plushie in the studio I again. I can literally see it across the room. Well, Yoink. at least he's out of his office. No, no, do I even want to know what you're going to do with that? He'll be fine. You're going to give Check it to uh, one of the weirdos as a gift. He's on Earth for creepy. Which not, weirdo are you thinking I'm giving it to? Can you not? That, that, that's actually his emotional support plushie. He's a little... Bankruptcy! Bankruptcy! Wait, 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 wait. And the director, the director's grandma. emotional support Look, plushie is of a character who would just assume kick him in the nuts as look at him. I need your help. Yeah. Get in, okay. Get in, a little We're going ghost fucking. I mean, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure all the other widows have different kind of emotional support but plushies. You're the one cleaning off the van. You know, you know, um, honestly, Shadow. That's a bet you would lose, as far as I can tell. I mean... Wow. Does he actually pay attention when he's using this portal at this point? Uh, is that a trick question? Hey, Jack, no, never Is your helmet back. There was, a, there was some stains on it, so I cleaned it with a napkin. Considering Diddy Kong, you were the same person that tried to sell off Infinite Sword. What is Dude, like all I did was Bethany wipe off the stains with a napkin. I didn't try to sell it back. I tried to sell it to him. I literally just cleaned it and I literally just gave it back to the jackal. You clearly forgot what you did a couple videos ago. I'm not forgetting. I'm saying this is different. Clearly, you don't know how to listen to people speak. This time is out of a kindness of his heart. And I thank him for it. So I appreciate it if you back off of him. Besides, I was only public, uh, messing around with the Marler because I was bored. As soon as he reacted, I stopped. We are filming a very special this episode. This guy looks very creepy. We access to every room in this dump. Also, that is John Waters' voice in the Pretty little pricks. I can't just give you. That explains the hairline. Oh, no wonder that voice sounded familiar. That explains his hairline. It's called Ghost Fuckers, idiot. But you're getting close. I love the word idiot. I am glad to see. See you folks. We've been well, we know more. you're a complete whore Students for Chris Jericho, so I'm not surprised. Lately. What kind? Se Se oh, Se oh, oh, okay, then. Eggs are all blow. Well, there definitely ain't no so is half the so is half the shots taken by Marina Sh by Marina Shabir. Uh, yeah, except ghosts are real, cameraman. They're a conspiracy. I can take a back shot from Luna any day. I mean, what? These two are just trying to host a private party. Shut up. up! Congratulations You're to them winning the tag team titles, by the way. Yes, uh, the yeah, yeah, yeah. Congratulations. Yeah. 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 Very well deserved. Over. 
Yeah, and apparently I heard the Motor City Machine Guns just won the WWE Tag Titles. That's actually a pretty big surprise. It is. Wait, shit, really? They actually won? They did, yeah. Yep. I spoke with my agent. Uh, my agent actually remembers that night because he, was, he wasn't going to watch it because it was only supposed to be the number of contenders match, but the champions were arrogant and tried to pick the bones of the Machine Guns, only to realize that the former bloodline was still out there. Well, what are they calling themselves now? Blitz. Uh, the, I think they're still. I think at the current time, the Asian no said they fight. haven't decided on official so name, but maybe just oh, Mills, original just bloodline. Yeah, it's not creative. So, wait, wait, so they're just calling themselves the OB? Uh, what? Seriously, that's what they're calling themselves now? The OB. I don't know. Also, on. I can't say anyone missed it. That short little guy reminded me of Igor. I, I don't know, something sexual! That's because that's their was his own take on Igor. On the subject, I still don't know why Igor's even a thing in most versions of, of the adaptation of Frankenstein. Because he's not in the book. No offense. He wasn't in the book? No! I'll give you a fight! Oh, jeez. Then, one old guy, he can kill Punch. Um, isn't he going to end up dead at this point because he just smacked somebody who's known for killing things? It's the original movie, dude. The original movie. Yes, but I think the point is, though, that he's not in the original book. Not a bad song. Here we go, Scooby Doo reference. Not the spaghetti. Oh, now you worry about the spaghetti. Yeah. Uh, yes, steal all the spaghetti, make the plum, make the plum. Oh, oh. why? Why did I do all that? Fucking racist. No, you literally, dude, green dude, you literally. Yeah, I'm you okay? Spaghetti man stolen. I'm just trying to pick on you. Uh, Diddy? Uh, Diddy? 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 Why, why are you, you... You're worried about the Mario Brothers and Spaghetti, but you literally spend an entire video game trying to recover stolen bananas. I really don't think you've got room to talk about this kind of thing. You realize I don't have a choice. Boss man does. Every time he does, he punches me. I refuse. He punches me in the face. Wow, nice one, Mills. Wait, really? really? I don't blame no problem, though. Wait a minute, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're telling me Donkey Kong punches you in the face? I'm done. I don't want to play Ghost Hunter with you. How has that punk not been reported for child abuse yet? You know, because he's the lead, because he's the leader of the kingdom. I thought that was Cranky Kong. <laughs> he's, he's the heir, and that's his dad. Come on, and come on. You really think he's gonna? Let, he, he may be disappointed. He may not completely like his son, but he ain't gonna let him be thrown in prison. Uh, did he? I just got one question. Uh, you movie or you game? I have. I have a feeling that there's a, my favorite parts here. That's a good question. Sometimes I don't even know myself, man. Maybe. Because I, I was just going to say, because it's like, yeah, it's like, I, that, that's a whole thing. Okay, whatever. Maybe Denise is doing his yeah, own thing. Yeah, we're not going to load that can of worms. Why would we open Absolutely. a can of worms? <laughs> Who invited Earthworm Jim? Oh, <laughs> Wasn't me. I don't know, the same guy that invited oh, Alco, I bet. I resent that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Did somebody actually invite Earthworm Jim in the hopes that Falco would try to eat him? Uh, I mean, why would I try to eat Earthworm Jim? Because he's a worm? Oh, and you're a bird? Oh, God. Why? Oh, you were calling me racist earlier, dude. No, I'm saying that's why I think somebody would try to invite Earthworm Jim. To take from I can see why this this video was good for Halloween. You think you can stuff fucking Honestly, I think my favorite of the shorts might be the Mission Antarctica thing. Though, if I had to pick a second favorite, it would be the Chupacabra episode. Oh, 
I've watched a couple with the, with the director, and they're not too bad. Dude, is it just me, or is this giving me somewhat Silent Hill vibes with the mental horror? No, they're, they're basically going with the idea of basically just French frying your brain by just, you know, fucking with Blitz's head. So. And, 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 and that, I they haven't done enough for that in the last episode. No, no, don't touch me. Well, they really did in the last episode. Don't do that much. Everyone's like that was more like. I mean, the last episode they weren't really, you know, mentally torturing the guy so much as they were just, you know, trying to get him over his own <laughs> emotional problems. Wow, there's a lot. Flashback of... episode. A lot of nice uh, demons in that bar. Cool looking ones. I gotta admit, I like, I like the long-haired Millie look. So I guess it suits you. I do too. You looking for payback? If so, you came to the wrong fucking bar. Uh, Nega, you enjoying this so far? Hey, the members, I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I'm watching, but so far I haven't had any complaints. I mean, you were in a few of the help the boss reactions, they tell. No, I mean, I mean, I'm trying to figure out exactly what I'm watching in terms of the whole, uh, torturing blitz thing. He fucking wishes. No, I work for myself, lady. Okay, this is okay. Now, the fact that his outfit just changed just is proof that he, this is still in his head, right? This fight is in his. This head. Is the, no, this is the flashback that Millie is describing. Uh, or did he call him? I think call him Clip Show. No, a Clip Show was entirely something different, dude. Uh, a Clip Show involves a compilation clip with a certain narrative framing as to why you are showing said clip. Yeah, this is a backstory. This is this is literally a flashback. Also, I'm kind of amused. I just like I didn't know this until I saw the. Yeah, okay. I wouldn't know what a flashback is, dude. I'm never gonna get one. Reputation is everything. Yeah, like they're in a lot of TV shows and movies, though. But in this case, um, the funny thing is, I actually saw the recent commercial they just did for the for the for the next sale they just put up. Over on Shark Robot before the uh, we got in today, with an and potential. I'm kind of amused that or I didn't realize when I first watched this. Bill is wearing chaps in this fucking scene. Yep, I noticed. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Oh, that was a nice, uh, nice cut. You're fucking weird. I'm in. I'm just glad Luna was, so who's was, that was, was, was back for a short time oh, in this episode. Yeah, you'll, you'll fucking hate him. That year I spent getting to know your ragtag team. And oh, nice hairstyle, Luna. That's, that looked nice. Welcome to well, not I'm bad. MP. This is definitely an earlier Holy look at their designs shit. and all. So. <laughs> Sir, what is this? This baby right you know here. You know what's weird? They was actually a different version of this episode, so but it was scrapped. So we got yeah, I remember. I remember new hearing new about that. They're like the day after this episode dropped, and it's like not Jesus. Not nice I, I, I kind of wish they would have done both versions. Put well, this thing out as a version. There's a scrap Must version of this where for. literally, good for. like the entire it's team went up to that man. fucking hotel. Any demon oh, what? That that would have been so good. Great, but here, demons like But I guess the creators of the show had other ideas. Uh, fuck you. What? Millie, I have. Yeah, we're not sure exactly why they didn't do this. Do the do the other one? Because the other one looked really good. They even had like entire stuff of it animatic out. So. For a reason, okay? You're tougher, smarter, and frankly more capable than anyone I've ever met in any ring. And I'm more fuckable and business savvy than any sucky bitch alive. Looney's perfect and Moxie's okay. probably got some good traits too, and I'm sure we'll figure them out eventually. The point is, if we can't make it here, then then no one deserves to, right? Okay, so stop killing my buzz. And come on, I want to show you my office. <laughs> Most of my life, I bought into the idea that all I could ever be was what's a even had a buzz. Or well, best an underpaid goon. Until I met some shadow who never what? Go to your fucking Anyone room, man. What the, the buzz yeah, feed? What, what the buzz feed? Why are you making a listicle site and no one likes? And that made me feel like I don't know. I could be anything too. Murder. He gave me so there much. is murder. Come to think of it. Career. 
Uh, isn't isn't Busby basically dead at this point anyway? Now. Pretty sure they're going to file for bankruptcy friend. soon. You, you don't Wouldn't have happened to a nice, a, big, a nice a bunch of like left wing Look. lunatics. Cause like they're, they're nuts. I'm sorry. You've just always been. Wow, Mario, are you right, Brian? No, I'm more center to center left. I but I'm like Busby was so far to the left, I'd like. Honestly, I, I think they were so far up Karl Marx's ass you couldn't even see their feet. <laughs> <laughs> there is such an thing you as too extreme of any side, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm extremists not, can go in. Oh, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you on that. I'm just saying, like, you, you can't possibly look at BuzzFeed and tell me they were anything other than far left. Come on, Blitz. The only thing I, I didn't really look at the political meeting. Books with people's minds. I don't know. It's something that like an mysteries. infester demon would do. Oh. Yo, speaking of unsolved mysteries, Robert Stack was a great in. Wait, what? Alright, shit. Unsolved mysteries. So five seasons of it is on Netflix. No shit. Damn, our tiny fucking leg. Dude, I gotta rewatch that. So apparently, the guy that gave them the keys was the one that was killing all the people. Did you just figure that out? I thought it was kind of obvious. I mean, yeah, like literally, there was a picture of the dude on the wall with eyes that move. It wasn't that hard to figure out, man. Oh, this is his hairline is still awful. You call that a hairline? I call that a fin line. <laughs> fin line. <laughs> yes. A battle. Yeah, yeah Metcliffe loves his battles. Mm-hmm. Now, if only he could win his battle against me, you, and, uh, Silver. Never going to happen. Damn straight. Yeah. Wait, 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 Sonic, did you just quote Alistair? Yeah, why not? I mean, it's appropriate. It is an appropriate time. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Sonic, is your widow gonna stream the second season of that in a... A weirdo community viewing or something later. Oh, I'm pretty sure he will. I mean, Warwolf absolutely. We'll play, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, he absolutely loves Has Been Hotel, and he told me he's getting a new computer. So. And he also sure. mentioned the game was coming back too. Welcome. Uh, to wait, say that again. I didn't hear what you said there. I was hearing something about the game going back yeah, together. Real what gang? What gang? The main trio. <gasps> what is it? Uh, are you, are you talking about the uh, Oh, okay, yeah, no, they, they should be. Now, would, this okay. be, would that be called a clip show? No, no, no that, that is not a clip show. That's more of a... Well, this is him basically just like torturing Blitz, so it's not really a clip show. That'd be more of a clip segment at best, but I, okay. I wouldn't even go that far. Alrighty. Honestly, look, we'll explain to you guys what a clip show is in our time. Mm -hmm. like you Let me put this right. Do. If you ever saw the episode of The Simpsons where they randomly start singing and throwing in clips of, like, other episodes of The Simpsons into their VCR, that's what a clip show is. I mean... I don't mind them singing. And if it makes it any better, I hate clip shows. I think almost everybody does. I like the singing, you though. Can't help anyone. You're just a oh, hey, Luke. I'm just starting to wonder if we, if we lost you there. You've been so quiet. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing it right, Luke. Yeah, my cave is just really cold right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, yeah, you had a rough couple of days and yeah. it, I'm sure things will be better. Yeah. yeah here's and, a blanket for you, but... Yeah, and we're not going to say what happened either. We're going to keep it between ourselves. I have always wondered... Stop! Why do they call it a cold if most of the time people are running a temperature? You know, honestly, Eggman, he has a point, you drive but Nega, here's a question for you. Yes? Why do you care? Yeah. I don't. I was just curious. Uh, Nega, you know curiosity kills the cat, right? I'm not a bloody cat and Blaze is nowhere near us. <laughs> okay, good one. That was a good one. My agent just looked it up, so forgive me for a moment, I actually sound smart. Okay. 
The common cold is called a cold because the name came into use in the 16th century due to the similarity between its symptoms and the expo and those of exposure to cold weather. Oh my God! You turned into Foxy. The place, but yeah, that happened too. Now so look the cave and I. You may think you know yeah. everything, but you miss too. One, your words don't mean shit to me. And two, Bliss can handle this. You know the cave that me and my pack don't live in? Up, um, honestly, she, it's, it's kind she of a fought, thing there, but... She fought like a beast. We're talking about Millie. Like, she's basically a Klingon, dude. He's literally a tomboy on steroids. Uh, why would a tomboy need to be on steroids? Yeah, why? Because why the fuck not? Uh, Millie, that that's Blitz now. Ass bug? That's a new one. Well, I've heard weirder things in the show. Not by much, but I have. I hey, Bethany Ghost Fucker. Tonight I blitz Demon Dicker! Dicker? What? I don't know. It's Blitz. What are you gonna do with the stage? Uh. Also, Blitz takes a pot shot at Hatchet Hotel. Oh, wow. uh -oh. Wait, 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 wait. How do you, fi how do you figure that? I felt that. Let's go. Oh, oh my God. Fatality. Fuck hotels. Ah. Uh. Oh, that <laughs> takes care of that creep. Blitz wins. So I'm your best friend, huh? Electromality. Hey, Electro I think. <laughs> Electromality. I never would have thought that. Fuck. Good one. That mean you're not going so. to be our third anymore? Yeah, me too. No. Not anymore. Oh, jeez. Oh, at least after this, we can start getting ready for Thanksgiving. So, you going to keep yeah. stopping us all the Thanksgiving? time? Thanksgiving? Are you kidding? Uh, husband is like, dude, at this point, like, have yeah. you seen he, most he of the is. stores out there? I hope he's doing okay. Fuck Thanksgiving. They're already moving on to Christmas. You don't want to give I Thanksgiving any kind of break. I almost feel sorry for the turkeys whose sacrifice has gone completely unremembered at this stage. <laughs> you forgot to carry the two. <laughs> He's about to turn no, 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 the two The musical! <laughs> musical? Bethany, this is it! Let the spirits fly! Oh god, the, the song. <laughs> And yeah, it's amusing that that is indeed. That is Charlie's voice actress singing this, too. Yep, that's our girl Charlie. Mm -hmm. He's got a good voice, I'll give her that. Uh, Eric Hansen, yeah. He sounds really soothing. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, from your mental list, really that means a lot. I am still impressed with the range that she has for this because it, I didn't realize that was her until literally I watched the the, the credits the first time. Quite literally. And also the um, the uh, Amber and Pinkle short, you know, the, that woman that all points around everywhere now. Oh, Lord. She's more funny. Oh, she Maggie. Oh, are you serious? I was wondering about that. I thought you said Oh, I'm oh, not kidding. That is the OG Maggie from the Hasbro Hotel pilot. Wow, that's impressive. I know. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's nice to see that the, that the, the guys we from the pilot are still getting work in this show. I know. Oh. <laughs> yeah. What is the Emberlyn voice when, when she says, Daddy, you don't know that, Matt. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm, again. I totally regret it. But hi. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Again, again, the, the fact that Erica Henningsen has that kind of range that she's literally got two different voices she's doing where she sings with. One is Charlie and the other is this Bethany Ghostbucker thing. It's like, holy shit. I know. <laughs> and plus, I laugh. My, plus, Jace, my VA, my agent, he, uh, he laughed his ass off when Moxie, uh, no, when when Moxie heard Ghostfuckers. The musical. Just... To be fair, I I was actually <laughs> yeah, I was just I was talking to Warwolf literally on like the the day before last, and literally like he was just amused as hell at just how badly Moxie was screwing up. But at the same time, he ac- he actually brought up something that I do kind of agree with, and. Now, Mario, I think you were here for this, too. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. And again, I kind of agree with him on this. So we were talking to him, right? And he mentioned to us, looking at that flashback, given the raw chemistry that Blitz and Millie had, how the fuck did she end up with Moxie? I was trying to figure that out myself. Yeah. Like, how? Did... Like, honestly, honestly, like, honestly, I remember. I, seriously, I, remember. I don't mind Blitz and Stolas. I, I know that's the end game. I will say that I enjoy Blitz and Veraska as a potential couple if we ever get a chance to see what they were like when they were actually happy together, because I'm sure there's got to be something going on with that whole story. But you look at that flashback, and like just the way these two interact, it's like, how the fuck did she end up with Moxie when it's very clear she's got a lot of chemistry with Blitz? I mean, maybe, yeah. maybe she's so... Moxie was vulnerable and thought he would need a, a lover or something. Maybe I, I doubt that. No, I'm, sure, I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure there's something that. I, I, enough, I was talking. Go ahead. All right. All right. So I was ta- So me and Falco were actually talking to him about Sir Druid. You know uh-huh. the guy who does us. Does our voices? Yada yada yada. Phrasing. Oh He's about one thing. <laughs> yeah. What's that? I think he was just kind of. Hey Sam. Well, yeah, it was the pacing. He was more just confused about, like, how it felt like everything went by in a blur. Now, are you talking about this episode specifically, or was he talking about something else? I think he was talking about the pacing in this episode specifically, if I remember. I yeah, it was the pacing in this episode. I honestly thought the pacing in this episode was actually pretty good. If there was one complaint, I think it's, like, because, again, um, because we were talking about it earlier, I would have loved to have seen the entire team up in there for this because again like the the leaks if you can find them and i think uh, again i don't really I, I know for a fact that um warwolf doesn't really like the guy because apparently he and, and the other and and the guy who, who uh is on the video for like cartoon universe kind of have beef but even he admits like it's a really good research work on on, on the stuff there and the and the leak really had the possibility that could have been an even better episode than we got and what we got was a pretty good episode I think they might have had to double the, the length of the episode to do anything with it, but I would have loved to have seen it. I know I'm going to regret this. Um, you said you had a beef with the guy. Where's the beef? I didn't have beef with the guy. The guy. Also, seriously, did you just quote the old Wendy's commercial at me? Yes. Oh my god, he yes, quoted the did. old Wendy's commercial. Yes, I did. But where's the beef, lady? Well, yeah. Shadow, shadow. Yes. As some as somebody who was around during that time, I'm gonna say this right now. If you ever say that again, I'm gonna take this plunger and I'm gonna shove your face in it so hard, we're gonna pull your ass out through your teeth. Okay? Never do that again. Fair enough. Please don't yeah. even have to from the plunger. Well, dudes, that was entertaining. Well, I'm getting out of here later, um, dudes. Hold on. All right, no, so folks. Yeah, yeah. So folks. Yeah, Diddy was saying like kind of what we're all thinking here so first off for those of you who do celebrate it we hope you had a happy halloween obviously this is coming out a little bit after halloween for those of you who had to deal with the whole thing with the elections we hope you got what you were hoping for for those of you who didn't again better luck next time anyway we will be back for another episode pretty much well whenever the next episode comes out because we do have two more episodes coming out this year we've got another one in fact here in November, uh, called Mastermind, and then in December we've got Sinsmas. We should have, 
It's yeah, I I did whatever. Anyway, um, at some point, I think we'll probably be getting some more information regarding uh, Has Been Hotel season two because uh, we know that they finished the voice recording earlier this year for that. So we're just waiting on the animation. We also know that it was confirmed that seasons three and four have already been greenlit for that. And we know we're getting at least two more seasons of Hell of a Boss. So season three will probably be sometime, at least for Hell of a Boss, sometime in 2025. Season four will likely air sometime late 2026 to early 2027 before they wrap up. And I think we'll be looking at around between 2027 and 2028, possibly, for the wrap-up of Has Been Hotel, unless they get a couple more episode or not episodes, but uh, seasons ordered. So hopefully we'll have a lot more to talk about when we get to the next episode of Hell of a Boss. That will be Mastermind, which will be coming out sometime this month, probably right around the tail end of the month, because they've been releasing these around the end of the month when we get these back-to-back episode ones. So there's that. Uh, we're going to try to get some of the shorts reactions done. Those should be you know, relatively quick because we've got four of them we can deal with. Uh, yeah. I know we're going to have something more from the weirdos in the near future. We're just waiting to see how that all uh, plays out. So we'll have uh, Jay Sear, uh, possibly Shadows, uh, Buddy there, Scarlet, whatever he calls himself. Because I know so. Warwolf calls him Char- Yeah, yeah. So I know Warwolf calls him Shadow as well. I don't know what the story is there, but you know that's a whole thing. And obviously Warwolf will be there as well. Um, now we also have another big goal actually for the weirdos. Uh, what was it? Was it when we get to like 1.5 million viewers? They're supposed to do another Q and A. Uh, no, I think he might. It was, it was supposed to be the one point f- like a certain subscriber mm-hmm. milestone. They were going to do like a Q and A. I think next one would be 2K. Be the next one. Okay, so the next one is 2K because I didn't know. What the next milestone was? Because last night I thought we are. Yeah. Where are we at now? One point six two k. They were like one point five k. No, one point six two k. We're on Falco. Oh, yeah, really? Oh, yeah. Wow. So we already passed the one point five, and we haven't done another one yet. Holy crap! So yeah, we're supposed to do this like what every five hundred thousand? Every every five hundred subs. Yep. All right. Well, there you, you go. I've been hearing talks about they do the Q and A. It might even be pre. They might just let's cherry. They might pick some like comment questions or something. I don't know. Well, this hopefully, hopefully with the more subs Have we, we even get. had that many comments or questions? I mean, because we havenven't really seen a lot of those. Because uh, we've only done, I, I know we've done the one so far, or at least the weirdos have, mm-hmm. but they haven't really done a lot of uh, Q&As because I, I don't think they've gotten a lot of questions. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get, it takes a while with the YouTube algorithm not telling them we're live or, you know, it's a whole other thing. YouTube is dumb. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But yeah. Yeah, it's the whole thing, I guess. But, so. Yeah, but yeah, anyway. Sonic, if we can get your agent more involved, we can probably react to those shorts. I know your agent loves that. Those. That shouldn't be a problem because, again, I mean. I mean it's, only a once, it's only a once a month with your agent, though. So. Yeah, I mean, because, well, again, it's like half the time we keep getting like these weird ass videos, and like sometimes like your director wants you like stuff that's like almost an hour long, and it really doesn't really happen to be as interesting as hope like because again the hell of a boss stuff i absolutely love because it's interesting and it keeps my attention whereas a lot of the other stuff half the time my attention kind of wanders so but yeah i mean the the shorts are definitely something we can definitely get done there i think just uh have your director get in contact with my agent we'll get that taken care of speaking of agents oh geez oh leave me out of this sonic well, seriously, your agent's been you bugging my agent? No, we've got two different agents. Because, like, he, he's, he's got, like, a... His, his agency is a little weird. <laughs> wait, wait, weird how? Wait, wait, no, 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 seriously. I, I want to notice. Weird how, Sonic? Yeah, yeah. Well, well I, uh, I actually got contacted by uh, the guy who runs Nega's uh, agency. Um, they're literally called Dewey Cheatham and How. Dewey Cheatham and How? Oh my God! I oh, Sonic, uh, Sonic, please, please tell me that's a joke. I wish I had the same reaction. You're kidding me, right? No, I, I swear. The sad part is, I'm really not. This can't be true. It's true. I even got their business card. What? One guy's uh, name. Uh, that business card. card. One guy's dude. It's right here. Literally, one guy's name is Dewey. What? The other guy's name is Cheatham, and the last guy's name is How. Do we cheat him and how? Oh my god, it writes itself. 
Oh my god, it's a euphemism. Yeah! A euphemism. It, kind of, it kind of explains why Nega doesn't get as much you know, coverage on here as you think. They're treating him. And how? <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, I think you guys are switching agents. Yes. I'm please. perfectly happy with the agent I've got. I mean, I don't, I'm, I'm not with his company. Anyway, so folks, we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did like it, you know, hit that thumbs up, ring the notification bell, hit subscribe. And of course, if you want to see the original video, it will be linked in the description. We hope you enjoy the holidays as they're coming up. We just had Halloween go by, Thanksgiving's on the way, and Christmas will round us out. And then, of course, we got New Year's right at the start of the year. So anyway, folks, for Infinite Diddy, the Mario Brothers, Lupe, and the rest of us, this is Sonic the Hedgehog saying, catch you later, everybody. Later, Dan. Catch you later, guys. And, uh, oh, well. Diddy, well. you are not in well. your <clears throat> And one last thing. Please give back the director his, his Luna Plexi. He, he believed it. He believed it. Check his ass. No one stole it. The first one, Sonic did, but whatever. No, I said yoink. Yoink means you took it, dude. My okay, you just end this. Yeah. That, that would have been I actually took it. Bye. Bye. Bye.